Hello, hello everyone! Cesare here with more Final Fantasy XI content. Joining us is, of course, Miro. We just finished off the quest to get the sniping bow, the first of the artifact missions for the uh, Ranger class. We're going to start the second one here. Um, and once again, you got to start it at Privashai here. However, do not, if you're going from one quest to the other, you probably have to zone or leave the area and come back to get the quest pick up. So if you just finished it and you can't get it, that's probably why. Just leave the area and come back. So let's start, start it off. Have the winds sent you to me once more? I have just had word that the one who knows of the fate of the sinner's daughter can be found in the blacksmith's guild in Mara. Upon hearing this, the myth contractor immediately set off on her way. I wish for you to also travel to Mora and meet with this person. You have your task. The blessing of the winds upon you. Very simple. Gets us going right away. So let's head to the home point. Where we will uh, pick up the next little bit of the quest. Which, as she said, is in Mara. I don't actually remember what zone it's in, but, uh... I do know I have the home point in there, so... Okay. This quest is gonna be quite a bit of running around, actually. A lot of story in it, though, so that's good. I think it is called Shushu? Yes, it's called Shushu. Okay, here we are. And we want to go to, I think it said F9. either going to be downstairs or upstairs. Not entirely certain. We're looking for somebody called... Oh, that's a blacksmith shop right there, so that's probably in there, if I had to guess. Ko Lenbala La Ko. Lenbala La Ko. It's almost like, um... Le Haboka. Anyway, let's speak to her. Why, this brings back memories. The daughters of the Mitzvah Jackers I met 20 years ago have also chosen the life of the Sin Hunter. I pray that they too find the path of justice. Okay, I gotta speak to her twice. Alright, just give it a moment for it to load up the, uh, there we go. And you are? Weren't you the one under orders from the Chita Paraivishai? The myth attractor from the homeland was here a moment ago. She was about to, uh, the incident that occurred 20 years ago concerning the chieftainess of the Fire Tribe and her daughter. Do you know of the Fire Tribe? They are a Mithran tribe that lives on the southern continent. It was some 30 years ago now, the chieftainess of that tribe committed the sin of slaying a fellow tribal member. She spent 10 years atoning for that sin in the homeland. When war broke out, she escaped from prison, crossing over to this continent with her daughter in tow. At the time, I was performing the dangerous duty of escorting people and supplies between Juno and Windurst. One day, a Mithran woman and her child slipped into our company. We set out for Juno, not realizing it was the chieftainess and her daughter who had joined us. However, things didn't go as planned. We were discovered by a party of Yagado in the Marifatad Mountains. The Yagado quickly overwhelmed us, and we were taken to Castle Astroja and held its prisoners.
prison of Astrogia was a terrible place. All we could do was shiver in the biting cold. At regular intervals, the Vagliagoro would come to drag one of us from the prison. Finally, the chiefness of the fire trap was taken away, leaving her daughter behind. Only the two of us were left. Not long after that, we were saved by the elite warriors stationed in the Marifatad Mountains, led by Pirai Vishai herself. I took the child back to Juno, but she grew thinner by the day from misery and exhaustion. Her body was interred in the Eldium Necropolis, along with the remains of the other races who had died in the war. The daughter of the sinner could not be buried in the lands of the Mithra. I go now to check the veracity of that story. To see from my own eyes the body of Siu Brefrathi. Daughter of the chieftainess Nebrathathi. I heard from the townspeople that the dangerous creatures roam the dark hallways of the Neldium Necropolis. It is a place that cannot be entered alone. But of course, I have no intentions of giving up on my Kari. You are the one who. You are one of the breed they call adventurers, right? Adventurers are said to take on almost any work as long as the pay is good. I will follow after you, keeping out of sight. Clear the path ahead, making for the cemetery in the center of the Necropolis. Meet me at the Necropolis. And don't be late. Okay. So we get to go to Eldium Necropolis now. That's exciting. What's really awesome about this is when you do the Winder storyline in the past, um, they touch on that. That's a, a bit of uh, interesting information that they gave you there. Um, you actually get to meet the daughter in the uh, in the uh, chieftainess, and what the when she was talking about escorting them, that actually happens during the Winder's Pass so events. So that's pretty cool that they actually kept that in line with this. Okay, we are going to go to Sandaria. 1.1. That's <laughs> somebody that named Rebel Scum. I love it. A lot of the names in Final Fantasy XI are amusing. I don't think I've ever seen any that I was just like, okay. Not that I can remember anyway. Maybe uh, you guys can point one out to me from my main videos of the main game story. Alright, so once again, we're going to want to go to Norvalin. And we're going to go to the Aldi of Necropolis. However, there's going to be a bit of an issue here. You see, you got to zone into the Eldium Necropolis to get the quest, uh, but that's not quite enough. You can't zone in from the book. You have to zone in from Battalion Downs. So we're just going to leave here real quick, turn around, and come right back in. Got a little Battalion Downs music. Miro, you took your time. Perhaps you considered giving me the slip? Even if you tried, it would be a futile effort. You cannot get away from the Mithran Tracker. Within the Eldium Necropolis, there is a cemetery divided into four areas where the casualties of the Great War are interred. There is a stone monument in each room that details who is buried there. Where? First, we should search the stone monuments for the name of the sinner's daughter. Take the lead, I will follow you. After you, keeping out of sight. Okay, so we gotta head down to, I think it's G9. Yeah. Okay, so now that we're here, we're gonna head forward. Yeah, so we gotta go to the southern one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need this, so I'm gonna summon.
my Lalafell companions here. Now if we go into abilities, job ability. On the plus side, I actually know my way through Eldian Necropolis upper part fairly well. Its lower side can be a bit annoying, but it's not too bad. We are headed to that bottom square there, the large square. Now, if you are here and you don't have a key item called the Magic Astrolabe, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, Magic Astrolabe. You can get through a quest. Uh, you can find it online. I'm not, I don't have that quest detail. I don't remember where it was. It had something to do with uh, a Lollafell. A Lollafell? A Tarotaro in uh, Winders, if I remember correctly. Anyway, it'll help you open the doors. If you don't have this item, you can get a friend to help you by hitting switches to open the doors for you. Which is kind of handy. Okay. Yes, this way. Because as you can see, this door here is Shiva's Gate, and it is closed. There's a set of treasure chest or crow for a chest. Alright, so if you need a chest, it can spawn right there. Okay, excellent. Two wolves. I'm fairly certain that those will aggro me. Now be careful. Don't run into these uh, things where those Ba's are standing or Ka's are standing. They will actually. Some of them have holes in them, and you can fall through to the lower level. The names of the deceased are carved upon the stone. The name of the sinner's daughter, Siu Bathrathi, is here. Did you find her name? Well, Miro, let's go and check the grave. She definitely appears to be interned here. What's this? A twin stone earring? The daughters? There's nothing left of the body, but this is enough. There's nothing more we can do here. Let's return to Chieftainess Pirad Vashai. I guess she finally sees that we weren't lying to her? Well, I guess we might have been lying to her. Okay, let's use our items. Warp ring, get out of the Eldium Necropolis because this place sucks. Kidding. I actually don't mind yet, uh, the Eldium Necropolis. Not the best place for le leveling, though. There are some good leveling areas below that you can use if you want. For mid to high level stuff. Alright. Let's warp to Winders Woods, home point one again. I would like to say we are almost done, but unfortunately we are not. We still have some stuff we gotta do left. I don't think we've actually had to fight anything yet, though, interestingly enough. Which is probably for the better, as I'm not very good on this class. I guess it doesn't really matter if I have my trust with me, they do most of the work anyway.
Okay. Talking to Pariah Vishai. You have returned, and the Mithran Chakra with you. After learning the location of the daughter's final resting place, we traveled to a place known as Eldium Necropolis. There we found a twin stone earring. Piecing together everything I have heard, I believe I must belong to the sinner's daughter. However, one problem remains. Where is the other half of the stone? Where is the grave of the mother? We were unable to discover the mother's body. Since she was held captive in the prison of the castle Astroja, her remains should lie there still. It is said that the king of Astroja forces prisoners to fight his Yagato in a hall on the highest level of the castle. The bodies of the fallen are then supposedly thrown into a large pool. If you search upon thoroughly, you may find what you are looking for. Well, I leave this task to you. Return here as soon as you find the old earring. Well, that's nice, sir. I must apologize, adventurer. I would like to send a party of warriors to aid you, but we would we do not have permission from Heaven's Tower to enter Castle Astrosia. The blessing of the earth is upon you. Well, of course it is. Okay. I would like to move now. That would be excellent. Okay. All right. We are now gonna head into, you guessed it, Castle Astrosia. They seem to love making me go to Castle Astrosia. I should be a master of getting through this place now, right? Right, all right. Fortunately, Okay. Fortunately, I know where I'm going this time with Castle Astrosia. I don't have to hunt treasure chests or anything. So that will hopefully save us some time. Once again, we go back to our survival guide. We go back to our travel guide and we go down to Aragono, Castle Astrosia. recommended that if I'm level 60 that I summon my trusts now, so I'll take that recommendation. Summon my team of Lollafell. Arch. I did it again. Tire, tire. I honestly don't think being level 60 is going to cause me to get aggroed here, but uh, so I think I did this in my other job as a white mage. And didn't really get aggroed by anything. Was it white mage? It was Beastmaster. Beastmaster. But that's okay. We will continue to utilize our abilities as best we can. Like I said, I actually know my way around where they need us to go this time. So as per usual, we're gonna run over here to this gate. Oh, there's somebody waiting by the gate this time. Which 
interestingly enough. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it happens. I thought he was off of it. But now he knows that that's not the right one. Probably gonna whisper me and yell at me at some point. I feel really bad about that. I honestly thought he was off to the side. <laughs> happened to me before though. I was standing there trying to hit the switch and I knew it, it was the right one because I had fallen down before. Oops. It's a left turn. Anyway, I had fallen down before and they, uh, I was coming back up after having hit the wrong switch and I was there standing on it getting ready to hit the, uh, the right switch and I was tabbing through my trusts and this guy runs up and hits the wrong one and moves off and I fall down not to my death obviously but yeah it is up up down up Is gonna aggro me. The areas just past the gate will aggro me, or the areas, the mobs just past the gate will aggro me. Though they're they're jerks. They're a little stronger. Careful not to fall off there. In order to get to the center platform though, we do have to go through this little room here on the side. Turn to the left. Now you guys can head down this straight path here to the door. Remember the door gate password was up, up, down, up. If you've never been to Castle Astroja before, I be shocked to know that, but because this game seems to love sending you to Castle Astrosia, you would know that this here is the where we use that password that I uh, checked. These Jagger are just going to stand there and let me. Okay, it works. Okay, there's a sentinel literally right there, so I'm going to hop in. And I am going to use my jigs. Now, with my team here, I could probably beat them, but why fight them when you don't have to? Right? Right. Good. I'm glad you agree. So, what we're doing is we are moving past that gate, and we're going to head up here to the next floor. Now, she said that there was a pool of water that they threw the bodies in. Uh, which can't be good for the water, I'm sure. I certainly hope it's not the Yagado drinking water. That'd be disgusting. 
I don't really need to look at the map unless you guys want to see it. Uh, there it is, that circle on the map there. I'm pretty sure that's where we're going. It's not very far past the gate. You just run up here, make a right turn. I'm pretty sure you don't even need to be a ranger for this part. Actually, you do need to be a ranger. I'm wrong. And there's a reason for that. I'll show you. This is one of the few quests where you actually absolutely have to be the class that uh, you're doing the artifact quest on. So these Yagodo parasites might attack me. Maybe not, but they might. Would you get in the water, please? Thank you. I think I had to come here as Paladin and uh, fish. All right, so what we want to do is go back into our job abilities, but now we want to hit scavenge. Found nothing. That's okay, though. Oh, it has a time limit on it. Well, this is going to be interesting. Um, Alright, well, I'll wait the three minutes, and if I can find it on the second one, I will. If not, we'll have to wait even longer, but I'm not going to keep the video going for that. I'll just stitch them together. That's kind of stupid. That's got three minute waiting time. With any luck, I won't have to do that. We can just go with the three minutes, but it is what it is, right? So I'm hoping that uh, we can find it with this next one. Look at all those uh, Yagato just playing that song, though. Funny thing is, after I'm done this, this is it. Like, there's not much more to add to it. Ah, uh, I gotta wait an entire minute and 50 seconds left. It's not that long, but... Oh shit. Okay, well, this will save some time. Cut down on time. Can can I fight? These chanters aren't too tough. See, not very tough at all. Alright, how much time did that eat up? Surely not enough. That Inquisitor is probably going to want to fight as well. No, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Thirty seconds to go, though. Okay. And we're ready, okay. There it is, okay, good. We don't have to uh, do anything else. Let's just go into our items. Use our warp ring. And get out of here. Thank God for that. I'm just glad I actually had enough uh, space. I never looked. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Windurus again. Windurus Woods. 
Okay. Travel time to get to her is not my favorite, but it could be worse. Mega Man X is selling power levels, it looks like. Stop moving. There we go. Okay, let's talk. In the time of the Great War, the warriors held in Astrosia were forced to fight with Yagato in a hall on the castle highest floor. The fallen warriors were then thrown into a large pond in the upper levels. I believe that the old earring that fits with the twin stone earring of Seal Bafathi can be found there. However, the talents of a ranger will be needed to discover it. Well, it just so happens that we have an old earring. An old earring is dirty and dented. You found it! Yes, it is a perfect match with Super Frathy's twin stone earring. I'm impressed. Tales of mighty adventures are often little more than exaggerated rumor. However, this, uh, well, this adventurer was performing her task. I was busy talking with an important witness. This witness claims that the use of the shining bow was irresponsible for your loss of sight. The witness also mentioned that the prisoners of Astrosia were saved by a bow that loosed arrows of light so dazzlingly. That the Yagato were struck blind. This can only describe the bow of light. It is time for the truth to be known. You are concealing the bow of light, aren't you? You have been seduced by its power. Have you been seduced by its power, Pariah Vishai? Even for one who is blind, surely you can see this has gone on long enough. Very well. It is said that you are not one to run and hide. I am in no hurry. Let us leave it at this for now. And this adventure, I give to you. May you always be on the side of justice. Okay, what'd she give us? The Hunter's Beret! I think it's the first hat we've gotten from one of these quests. Gives you HP plus 13, int plus 3, ranged attack plus 5, increasing rapid shot activation rate. There you go. It's got like a little pot leaf on the side of it. It actually does look like a pot leaf uh, in these graphics. At least from a distance. Anyway. That's the first of the, uh, second of the uh, quests done. So guys. Thank you very much for viewing. I hope you enjoyed this. At least it didn't take me forever to get through Castle Astrosia this time. Have a good one, and I will see you in the next Ranger quest. Have a good one.